everybody, welcome back to Sam Can Do, the channel where um, I failed. Uh, what else is new, right? Um, in making art, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So for the past month, I have been trying to conquer this beautiful Pinterest dream of a project. I'll put some pictures up. I saw all these amazing, I believe they're called parquet, these hardcore like woodwork, your door things and I was like oh my gosh this is so beautiful and it's so easy so I thought so my plan was to take this bad boy oh, that thing, that thing back there which is a 20 by 30 frame that I used to use for when I did fine art photography it's been a long time anyway so I was gonna take that frame and put um, slats of wood that I cut in the Glowforge uh, inside of it and make it look amazing and beautiful and it was gonna be so simple. I even made a TikTok about it, I was so confident. So I wanted to make one of these fancy like parquet wood boards but I don't have any like woodworking equipment but I do have a Glowforge laser cutter which I do have a, a link to save $500 if you want one. So I started with this um, these pieces that I cut because I measured them to be in this like giant 20 by 30 frame. Here's me pulling off the protective film after you cut to get rid of the smoke marks. But once I put them in the frame it looked so dumb and I hated it and I think I just started too big and I needed to start over. It didn't work. I tried. Let me just tell you how many times I tried. This is all of the wood that I wasted trying to do this project. Now, thank God I get a lot of this for free from Glowforge because I do referrals, but still it is a travesty and I'm going to try and I've tried to reuse some of this wood. I'm going to do my best. It didn't work. I tried over and over again, but sometimes when you know you're out of your element, you gotta scale down and start over from scratch. So that I did. I found, um, I, I created a totally new file. Like I made, and what I think was happening was that uh, something about my measurements were just wrong. Either it wouldn't fill up the board or it would fill up the board or the design once I did get it to fill up the board just looked dumb. I might come back after this again. I have a different project in mind, but that is one of the downsides I would say of a Glowforge is that the pan size, the tray size is so small that if you wanna create a file that encompasses an entire design, it's kind of difficult. And I have struggled with that um, sometimes. And this is a perfect example. I already had something that I wanted it to fit in. For some reason between 20 by 30 inches, getting the pieces to be exactly two and a half, I just couldn't. And I don't know if it's because I scaled them inside of the Glowforge app, like, Maybe if I would have made them that size, which I don't even know how to do. Basically what I did is I said, okay, I'll make a design that encompasses itself within the tray size. So this is the file I came up with. I will leave it down below. So if you want to use it, you can. And then I inserted one piece of wood that it would fit completely in, which I'm using the maple, medium maple plywood. I use this a lot, but for some reason I've been having problems with my laser getting all the way through or burning it. I really want to upgrade to a pro. I love my basic. It works for so many things, but I have been struggling. I also think I might need to clean the laser if anyone knows how to do that. Oh my gosh, I'm not looking forward to it. Anyway, so I've been using medium maple plywood and I came up with this. I was able to put the entire file inside, cut it, peel all the stickies off and create this parquet mini masterpiece. Now I would be lying if I said I'm 100% um, happy with this and let me show you why. Some of the paint, it just doesn't look as cool as I thought it would. Maybe I'm being ridiculous. Am I being too extra? Do you guys like this? Do you think this is cool? I just think it looks a little bit crafty, which I guess things are supposed to look crafty, but I want it to look like super cool and finished like I took it out of some woodworking shop that I don't have because I don't have a garage in my house. But the moral of the story is, you can't let not being able to make the perfect art stop you. You have to just create. Makers gotta make, creators gotta create, artists gotta art. So what I did, so I put this inside the Glowforge, cut it out, took it all the way out, which by the way, if you ever have something with a bun bunch of pieces, what I do is I take the backing from another piece that I've already cut that I'm not gonna use and I put it down on top, I stick it on there 
to kind of keep everything together when I flip it. Um, I flipped it out, peeled all the things, have some time lapses, they're not that exciting. I picked a random order to paint these and this is the final product. But this is a lesson. You know what? I know a lot of you have been the same place as I have. Come on in closer. Sometimes it's not what you wanted. Sometimes the art you make isn't the art you want, but it is the art you have. It is alive, it has its own breath. This is making me feel better about my failures. And when if in doubt, call a mom or a mom-like figure in your life, and maybe that's me. Hey, you did a great job, you tried your hardest. Um, yeah, so this is this very uneventful, um, but maybe exciting project that if you wanna make, you are more than welcome to. And if you wanna finalize, make better files with mine to make it fit the size I wanna spit, you know, that'd be great too. Super easy, put it in the Glowforge. I cut one square the same size, glued it with wood glue, and I painted it. And now let's have some unnecessarily beautiful footage or maybe lame footage of me hanging this up somewhere in my house. Cause I am going to display it because it might be crappy art, but it's my crappy art, mine. And I love it. I'm going to learn to love it. Thanks so much for watching this video. My name is Sam Hernandez. If you want to connect with me between uploads, which sometimes is a very long time, you can reach me here at Instagram, here on TikTok, and uh, yeah, subscribe here, comment. I love to reach out to you guys. I even love your really creative hate comments. My favorite recently was someone said below one of my videos that I was as worthless as a, ho as a, war as a hog's teat. And to you, sir, I say thank you because it seems like there might be some use in that. Anyway, have a great have a great week and goodbye.